Sonic. Murder? Both. Sonic's dead. Shot and gunned down in Brazil. We're going to find out how. And why. <laughs> and two. Welcome to the murder of Sonic the Hedgehog. He's dead. <laughs> Finally. <laughs> this game came out a few weeks ago and I've been dying to play it. I've literally been shaking my boots, wondering who killed Sonic the Hedgehog. And did now it? we're actually going to find out. It'll probably be a few episodes, but uh, we'll yeah. see how it goes. Phew, made it on the train 15 minutes ahead of schedule. Oh, are you just going to like do your irregular voice? What do you want me to do for a voice? Well, wait on the train. No, no, no. It's too much. It's too much. It's gonna get old. <laughs> Pitany. That's really cute. This game right now is the highest rated Sonic game on Steam. Oh, am I nervous? Is this first day of the job jitters? Working the train's dining car can't be so bad. Come on, Pitany. <laughs> Shake it off. <laughs> Shake it off, man. I got this. Pitany, did I uh, just see you hitting yourself? Mr. <laughs> <laughs> sir. How are you doing this morning? God, shit. <laughs> oh, ho, ho. quite all right myself, though feeling a little bittersweet. Alas, today's my last day as conductor. I'm retiring after 32 wonderful years. Time for me and the Mirage Express to say goodbye to one another. Enough of my quibbles. Today's your first day working the dining car. Here's the menu for today. The menu. Like the movie. Uh, Chili <laughs> dog ramen. <laughs> Chili <laughs> corn blue. This is our kind of restaurant. <laughs> Why do you look so nervous? All we have on the train is a microwave. A little about the vessel. This is a state-of-the-art, high-speed, smart train with all the latest gadgets. This train is exclusively used for events. It's not a passenger train. Oh, interesting. I remember that from the interview. What's the event today? A murder- I knew it. A yeah. murder <laughs> mystery party. Nothing better than some thrills to end my tenure as conductor. Guests will be funneled here to the dining car as a home base, so to speak. I'll be with you to gather tickets. But after that, you'll be on your own. So I'll need you to do everything in your power to make sure our paying guests are well taken care of. Understood! Do you understand? <laughs> Doors to the Mirage Express are opening. All aboard! So who are you gonna hit on first? <laughs> Rouge the bat. It's just so cute. It's like a comic. Oh, yes it is. I'll be coming around to collect everyone's tickets. Please have Mountain ready. You'll join me, p &E, won't you? Just click on whoever you'd like to talk with and we'll collect their ticket. Oh. Uh, okay, got it. You pick. I don't know. Let's talk gonna, to Rouge. We're gonna hit the first. All right. Good morning, ma'am. Can we get your ticket? <laughs> bye bye. Have fun. Let me fetch it for you. Come back if you need anything else here. God. <laughs> wow, she's so polite. <laughs> wow, she's, she's so, so hot. God, she's fucking hot. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Rouge. 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 Sorry, All right, let's pick a character that you voice. Can I get your ticket, youngin? Right here, sir. <laughs> here you go. Thank you. May I offer you any snacks we have on board? No, thank you. When I travel, I always pack my own sparkle gelatin. It's a sparkle jelly that can melt any cheated heart. What a weirdo. I miss my wife. <laughs> <laughs> no way. I brought my own sparkle gelatin with me, too. It's my first day, and I was a little nervous. Wow, I guess we're both freaks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Don't be nervous. You're doing great so far. We're sparkle gelatin buddies. Yeah. Do we have to talk to all of them? <laughs> here. Do you sell gift bags here? I need to dispose of a body. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, no, sadly, but I have a plastic grocery bag in the back I can get for you. That stare, bro, it's so cold. He's so scary. Uh. Petey, you're shivering. Do you need me to fetch your jacket? Uh, no, no, I'm good. It's just, he's so hot. <laughs> well, if we didn't talk to all of them, I guess we could just like go left to right. Uh, howdy, can I please get your ticket? Dude, can you have a little respect? Like, <laughs> I think that's a ticket. <laughs> can you like have some respect, dude? Like, come on. Hi there. <laughs> <laughs> it's just gonna be me saying like anything you're gonna laugh. Thank you kindly. Happy to have someone as renowned as yourself aboard. Until he dies. When Eggman took over, I truly feared the worst. But my kids swore you would swoop in eventually. And you did. I'm glad you and your family are safe. Now to sacrifice your firstborn and we'll be all set. <laughs> How do you think I keep running? <laughs> I'm fueled by blood. Wait a Is minute. Is he Sonic the Hedgehog? I promise you an excellent stay on our train, Sonic. Have fun now. You no. can have my firstborn if you want. <laughs> Here's my child. <laughs> Honestly, I don't even like it. <laughs> it's defective. <laughs> oh my you guys have the fun now. Can we please see your ticket? Excellent, thank you, and I hope you enjoy your stay with us. Also, this is like our um, 
our like voice acting real. If anyone wants to hire us for voice acting, just yeah. uh, we can do these voices for whatever. Well, absolutely, I appreciate it. <laughs> There's a calmness about him. Something about his presence puts me at ease. You consider me calming? <laughs> He's reading my mind. He's looking right at me. Look at him getting nervous. Get out of my head. <laughs> Get out. <laughs> I study ninjutsu. I believe one can communicate through the subconscious. Hello, my friend. Can I get you a ticket? I misplaced my ticket. I don't know where it is. Don't you worry. We'll take a look around for you and see if it turns up. Can I please get the birthday girl's ticket? <laughs> <laughs> Why, certainly. Thank you, miss. And thank you for choosing our fine train for your birthday festivities. Well, the birthday discount certainly helped. <laughs> And a murder mystery train just sounds so exciting. It's right up my alley. She loves murder? <laughs> this sounds like something a murderer would say. <laughs> you see, I'm a girl who loves a good true crime podcast. She's just like me for real. <laughs> Before we move along, for you, miss. Oh, how fun. Oh, thank you. Where do I use this? That unlocks any door of the train. Happy birthday. Including the bathroom. I was thinking the same thing. <laughs> May I have your ticket, please? Thank you very much. On top of it, I see. A princess such as myself must always be punctual. You can click on the arm. Hello, mm. arm. Can I have your ticket, please? <laughs> 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 Yummy. Don't mind if I do. Pitney, those are for our guests, you know. Oh, he's talking to the train. Train, be sure Pitney only gets one of those if they ask. Oh, wait. Oh, in the napkin. Oh, I see a ticket. What's sticking out of this napkin holder? Oh, there it is. That's my <laughs> ticket. Thank you so much to you both. I was really worried you kicked me out and I missed the murder mystery. <laughs> All Peony here would have their hands full kicking you out. You're right, I would have <laughs> wouldn't leave without a fight. I have 30 confirmed kills. <laughs> In Iraq. <laughs> <laughs> yep! <laughs> and others! <laughs> okay, everyone! Time for me to read out everyone's roles for the murder mystery! And that's my cue to leave. I must prepare the driver's compartment for departure. Uh, the conductor's car. You'll do everything in your power to make sure our guests have a safe and enjoyable time at the Mirage Express? Absolutely, you can count on me. And train? Assist Peony if they need any help, won't you? No, I will kill everybody. I am HAL 9000. I'm sorry, John. <laughs> for everything else, please talk to Peony here if you need anything. Thank you all for following the outfit guide I sent you. You all look amazing. I trust you all read your lore cards as well? Lore cards? They must be the details of their motivations. I love how um the character we're playing isn't even like involved. Like he's just the employee. He's <laughs> like, I don't get paid enough for this. <laughs> yeah, he's just watching. <laughs> I suppose it makes sense the lore cards aren't read out loud. Otherwise people would know the murderer's intentions. Now on to the nitty gritty. For the murder mystery game, one of you will be murdered. And the rest suspects. Everyone has assigned roles for characters they'll be playing. Participation required for it is my birthday. Birthday girl makes the rules. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Sonic, you are a ship captain, and you'll be stationed in the conductor car. Naturally, that's where the captain would go. Tails, you are the detective. You'll be here in the dining car. Indubitably. <laughs> Knuckles, you're the sheriff around these parts. We'll find you in the saloon. Wow, this is like the train from Snowpiercer. It's probably, I think it's a reference to that. Rouge, you're a business tycoon, and Blaze, you're a titan of industry, both in the casino. Vector, you're the butcher, and Espio the poet, both found in the library. I'm gonna butcher you! <laughs> <laughs> Hear that, Espio? We get to hang out together! <laughs> Shadow is the locksmith hanging out in the lounge. Hmm. And, last but not least, me! <laughs> the journalist reporter! Oh I'll God. be moseying around with everyone. Gotta hate journalists. <laughs> I have a map for each of you. Brilliant. The rules of this game are as follows. There's a murderer among us. <laughs> the murderer can't kill a single participant however they choose, but you must physically be present with the victim for it to count. Everyone else must collect evidence throughout the train and use it to interrogate fellow passengers to figure out who did it. The murderer will lie to get out of being accused, so inspect everything you can, find clues, and interrogate. I'll set a timer for one hour so everyone can mingle and the murderer can do their thing. Is everyone ready? Sounds like everyone's excited. Everyone, to your stations. <laughs> this is so exciting! She needed to be out there mingling with everyone. Hmm. Well, actually, the detective and the journalist can't be the murderer. One of them is the murderer. That sounds like something a murderer oh, would say. It's tales. <laughs> so we're stuck here for an hour before going out and scoping this place. Do you know what their character motivations are, Amy? No, the lore cards are confidential. No one knows what the person who received them. 
My backstory is that I was best friends with a flicky that decided to join the evil Dr. Eggman, kickstarting my desire for the justice of the world. My lore is that I'm a, a nosy person turned journalist. Isn't every journalist just a nosy person? <laughs> <laughs> the train started moving! It's, it's so fast! Grab onto something! What is going on? <laughs> Hold on! I'll try to make Amy less annoying. I, I can't! Don't let me die! Ah! <laughs> uh, uh. I'll try to make it a little less annoying, because I feel like it's going to get old. <laughs> oh my god. Everyone's dead. <laughs> <laughs> There's been an actual murder. Holy crap. You're both awake. Ah, you're finally awake. <laughs> yeah. That was a sick Skyrim reference, Amy. It seems the train has slowed down considerably. <laughs> it's spinning a bit, but I'm okay. Except for the blood. <laughs> <laughs> seems we've been knocked into the dining car's closet. Oh, it's actually intended. It's my first day, so I'm not really sure. It seems the door's blocked, and I don't think it's budging. Amy, give the fallen shell a whack with the Pico Pico hammer! Let's find another way out. Ah, uh, start looking for clues. I'll search over here. What the fuck was that? <laughs> I know, Amy. She's hiding something. Huh? I suppose she did wake up before us. Something could have happened. Listen, I know I'm the detective here, but all the best detectives have sidekicks. I'm gonna need your help. Let's gather clues on why Amy's acting this way. Interrogate her about it. I'll need you to do every- Oh, it's like a flashback. I'll need you to do, need you to do everything <laughs> in your power and to make sure our paying guests are well taken care of. Understood? You can count on me, Tails. Oh, now the set of the shelf got smashed. Who took a bite out of it? The crocodile. <laughs> There's nothing the shelf could have fallen into, and I'm sure this damage wasn't the here before. You're not doing- Train has too much upkeep. Oh, okay, like, it's fuck. Fine. It's fine. It's, it's fine. It's fine. Like this is important. We should log it. Oh, wait, behind Amy. Oh, this? Oh, is that the hammer? What's this? A rod? <laughs> the tape is broken. Looks like they have originally been attached to something. She broke her hammer, didn't you? <laughs> mm. I'm not sure if it's related to our mystery, but it, it, I like spinning it around, so we'll keep it. <laughs> That's me. Amy, we believe you're the murderer! <laughs> Amy, this is an intervention. <laughs> you're Amy, we believe you're hiding something from us. <laughs> what? You accuse me of my own birthday? That's not your character's lore, stayed character! <laughs> How dare you? I've been stuck in here just like the two of you. What in the world do you think I'm hiding? This gun? <laughs> <laughs> if he was awake before Tails and I were, what could she have done in that time? I don't think you were sitting idly while Bethany and I were knocked out. All right, yeah, I think we should um present that first. The crack on the shelf? Yeah. What? Some damage on the shelf is supposed to prove something? It fell over. Damage makes sense. I have all this train of thought. How does the crack on the shelf relate to Amy? So now I can explain myself? Well, you see, I, uh, well... When I get stumped, I like to think. <laughs> Close your eyes and think. What would Sonic do? And find your argument. Think. think. Thinking. Thinking. Oh my god, wait. Oh, what the? Wait. There's gameplay. <laughs> I was not expecting wait, this. Wait, we have to play video game? <laughs> Dude, you Fuck. suck. What are you doing? I'm sorry. My name's Sonic. Sonic the Hog. I win. <laughs> you know, the shelf fell, but there's nothing around for the shelf to fall into. You're telling me on a train this well kept that the damage was here before we arrived? Oh, well, I... I believe someone is responsible for hitting the shelf. You just said nothing was around for the shelf to fall into. What was the shelf hit with then? The stick! Stick! You truly believe a stick could do this kind of damage? You're right. A stick can't do this kind of damage to the shelf on its own. But if it's attached to something it could, like let's say, a gun! <laughs> <laughs> a hammer! This isn't a stick at all, is it? It's actually the handle to your Pico Pico hammer! You attempted to hit the shelf out of the way, but you failed! The anal tear hammer snapped right off. Ah. <laughs> ah. It's as you both said. I tried to get us all out with my hammer, but I failed. I gave the shelf one big whack, and the handle ripped right off. I figured it was no big deal and tried to hide it, but I suppose my embarrassment got the better of me. She does look genuinely sorry about the situation. That's Lucky too much. for you, I'm a detective and I travel as a mechanic. Let me see both pieces of that hammer. Just tighten things here, the level grease there, and fixed. Tails, thank you! Alright, stand back! The shelf completely shattered, incredible. Holy crap! We did it, we're free! Great job, Amy, let me, let's get out of here. Wait, is that... A gun? It can't be! I love the spilled <laughs> juice, like, next to the body, mm -hmm. like it's blood. Sonic! Someone murdered my darling Sonic! <laughs> uh, Looks like the game's begun! I'm finding out who did this at once! Eh. Oh, he's alive. But enough, kid. Move. 
What are you saying? I don't understand. I just need to rest. Sonic. Sonic! Is he actually hurt? He's not moving. Are these things on him genuine? My hand's on his wrist, but I don't sense a pulse. Probably because he's got a glove on. Am I doing this right? What is going <laughs> on? Is this part of the murder mystery? Or is this serious? Sonic! Sonic! Oh no, I can feel myself panicking. Calm down, Pitany. What do I do? <laughs> I need you to do everything in your power to make sure our paying guests are well taken care of. Understood? These guests are incredibly renowned, which means they must be remarkably rich. <laughs> what? So I leave their care to you, Peeny, my favorite employee. Surely you won't let me down on this last ride. <laughs> I think he's the killer. I need to catch up to Amy and Tails and get to the bottom of this. Even if this is part of the game, I just can't risk it. This is the name of the game! Saloon car. Things even already gone on ahead. Seems she's really excited. What if Sonic is actually here?